So when I attended the I Can Do It conference last year, I watched John Holland perform psychic mediumship in front of a large audience. He's a very famous celebrity uh, psychic medium. And he started cracking jokes. And I was watching him do this, and I was just sitting in the back of the audience just studying him, watching him and his style, being amused by him. I think he's awesome. And he's cracking jokes. And I sat there thinking, ooh, you're walking a fine line, my friend. People are going to think you're sacrilegious, irreverent, disrespectful, cracking jokes about the other side. <gasps> what are you doing? You're supposed to be serious and solemn, respectful, keep your head down, your mouth shut. I went to 16 years of Catholic school. That's what I was taught, right? Mm. After he was done, he explained why he did that. He said he wanted to elevate the mood of the room to open up and improve the connection. Why? Because the angelic realm is happy. <laughs> they're constantly screwing around and they're happy and they're joking around, which is what people don't realize. The angelic realm knows how to party. So what was John Holland doing? He was raising everyone's vibration so that everyone was open and they could connect better and he could connect better. He was creating a nice energetic connection for the room. On top of that, Laughter, what does laughter do? If a whole room full of people are laughing, what does it do? It relaxes you, it opens you up to being read so that he can connect with your deceased loved ones better. So that's one of the points that I wanted to make with this video is the angelic realm has a sense of humor. They know how to party. Um, for example, the first time I meditated, I was focusing on my breathing to quiet mind, my mind and quiet my thoughts so that the angelic realm could come through with messages for me. And I didn't know what I was doing. So I was sitting there and I looked like I was in a Lamaze class going like this. <laughs> and the first time, the very first time I meditated, what did I hear? Are you done? We're right here. The other side was making fun of me. Um, I've asked them to protect me before. Hey, can you guys protect me? This is kind of a hairy situation that I'm in right now. And they showed me a clairvoyant image of them pushing me off a cliff. Um, when they're happy, they'll show me a clairvoyant image of the Star Wars cantina party with like those aliens, you know, playing the saxophone or whatever when they're celebrating. Um, I called them dorks for that. I said, you guys are pretty dorky to actually show me that image. And they said, don't look at us. You're the one that dressed like Chewbacca for Halloween. Um, they're, they're right. I did dress like Chewbacca cause I wanted to go trick or treating and I didn't want people to know my age. It was great. I got a lot of candy and only a couple people thought they were being robbed. Um, so aside from all that, the other side pursued me for six years to become a professional psychic medium when I was a marketing executive. So they chased after me for quite a while to pursue this work. And one of the arguments that I gave them when I kept telling them to go away is that I was the class clown in high school. Um, once I found out your locker combination, it was over. Uh, your books were falling out when you opened it. Uh, you would find my lunch trash in there. Um, I would have a lot of fun. I was constantly playing practical jokes on people and unfortunately they would join forces against me. So I was having practical jokes constantly played on me, which was unfortunate. Anyway, my point was, is I don't understand why you guys chose me to be your voice when I'm silly, I'm the class clown. I don't get it. And they said, that is exactly what we want, Christine. We want you to be our voice. We don't want people to be afraid of us anymore. We don't want people to be serious and solemn with us anymore. We want you to take a difficult subject, put frosting on top of it and serve it up fresh. We want you to create this environment of fun and laughter and love and make the other side more approachable. That is part of my purpose and part of me as an activist for the other side and really being a voice for them is making the other side fun and approachable. They really are tired of people being afraid of them. They do not want that anymore. What happens when you're serious and solemn? Your energy closes down. You turn inward, you shut down. What happens when you're laughing and having a good time? Your connection is open, right? It opens the connection. It pulls the other side closer to you. So they don't want you sitting there with like your head down, you know, turning inward and thinking that the other side is just so far away. My spirit guides are in my ear all day. I view my own personal team on the other side as being right here, not over there. Sometimes I point up when I refer to the angelic realm, but right here. Pull them close. 
let them in, invite them in because they really do want to have fun with you. Um, and they really do want to love you and help you in, in a fun loving way. Um, so I did, I, I, I know that in, um, a lot of my videos I come across as very irreverent because I refer to the angelic realm as dude and you guys. And I've been doing that for the last six, seven years. Um, I am very familiar with them, very colloquial with them. And I did tell them that that, that concerned me because I felt like people were going to misread my familiar relationship with them because I have been commuting, communicating with them for so long. And this was their answer. Okay. This is, this is how they answered my question about um, why they're okay with me calling them dude, you guys. I cry to them all the time. I tell them that they're smoking crack. They made me drop off my entire wardrobe at Goodwill because they wanted me to start over. Um, I told them they were high as kites, smoking crack. I've kicked, I've screamed, I've cried because I'm not allowed to have pride or ego as a medium. I have to move that aside in order to be a clear channel for them. So this was their response to them really fostering that more informal communication with me. Christine, we're going to explain it to you like this. And these are clairvoyant images they showed me. So I, I can't take credit for this because it's actually pretty funny. This is what you think is happening. The communication that you have with the angelic realm and your spirit guides and other people's spirit guides and everybody's deceased loved ones and everybody's higher selves because I channel the living as well. This is what you think is happening, all right? Is this connection right here. You think there's just like two, two little cats, right? Walking down the street next to each other talking. This is how you view the communication. This is Christine and this is us, all right? This is what you think is going on. Okay, so in reality, this is what's really going on. You're like this little cat and we're this behemoth elephant. <laughs> so what's going to happen if you really knew our true size, our true power, our true capabilities, our true force? <laughs> There's a pretty big difference between an elephant and a little kitten, right? <laughs> This is what's really going on. We're walking down the street together talking. So what's gonna happen if you were aware of our true power? You're going to get intimidated. We don't want you to get intimidated. We wanna keep Christine in her happy place of love and light. Oh yeah, you're just hanging out with friends. You're just hanging out with friends because we wanna keep that energy open and we wanna keep that connection open and close and familiar and loving and silly so that you're relaxed and happy. You can't be in a bad mood and connect with the angelic realm. It's not going to happen. Good luck. Because they have to lower their mood a little bit just to match ours, just to meet us halfway. So I encourage everyone to invite spirit in, in a fun, loving, and happy and silly way. And have fun with them and enjoy them. Because the other side really does have personality. And if you're serious and solemn, they're probably going to be a little bored. In the meantime, take care and be well. Thank you.